How's it going everyone? In this video we're checking out all the new features that's coming out in a near future for iOS 18.4. Now as time makes this video, RC Candidate 2 got released and for this video I thought it would be a good idea to do a quick recap on all the expected new features that's coming out soon. So of course timestamps and everything will be in the description down below for your pleasure. But let's quickly start off with compatible devices. So so long as your device supports iOS 18, this list hasn't changed. And as time makes this video, we currently are on the developer profile, which is why we have the release candidate version. But this being a release candidate version, that tells us that basically it's complete. And we should be expect to see the official version of iOS 18.4 be released for to everybody else sometime next month. A lot of inside leakers have been reporting it's expected to be released on April 7th. So with that said, let's check out these new upcoming features. Now the first one can be located in your settings. And if you go into your notification tab, in the notifications, if you scroll down, you'll see a new prioritize notification ability. By enabling prioritize notification and going through the list of apps that you like to be prioritized, now whenever one of these selected apps after receive a notification, it will prioritize it like this on your lock page overlapping some of your old notifications and putting the prioritized one that you selected on top automatically. So we'll have like a cool highlight just like this. Next new changes can be located in Control Center. You see the icons have been slightly enhanced to the point where if you look at the volume icon, if you go all the way down and change white and transition to blue, same applies on your like screen brightness. So it'll go from white and then transition to the yellow color. Additionally, these icons over here will actually correlate to your reception and as well as your Wi-Fi stats right here. As you see, we have two bars because our cellular reception is in the two bars. So now these icons over here will now update with your status, with the status of your cellular or Wi-Fi. And since we're in Control Center, a new thing that Apple also added is ambient music up here. As you see, we have one for love, sunset or sunrise, work purposes, as well as sleep. So if we long hold and enter the customized control center option and we add control and we just search up music as an example, you'll see the ambient music options right here. And they're also listed as categorized. So if we go back and get out of here and select one of these, so like task manage, wait a couple of seconds, it immediately starts playing music. If you click on that app, you have the ability to pause and play, skip track, and all of this is run without using Apple Music subscription. So you don't need to have an Apple Music subscription to actually utilize this. So that's a cool little feature that we got given because previously you had to connect AirPods or something like that to have ambient noise access. But now Apple just gave it to us. Now additionally, if we go into our voice memo app, and we just start like a quick recording, you know, the microphone privacy icon will be on the dynamic island. Now, if you exit that app, that now moves to the right, giving like a smooth little animation. This works for phone calls, video recording, anything that utilizes the microphone will now move to the side where previously it used to look like this. And then if you have an Apple Watch, if you go into your alarms, if you enable an alarm and select that alarm, if you scroll all the way to the very bottom, you now have a new breakthrough silent mode setting where you can enable or disable and this if you read the description sound will only play while wearing the apple watch so if you take it off it's not going to ring anymore a feature that should have been available since day one another thing that's new for the apple watch is located whenever you launch the watch app or you customize it on your watch but by selecting one of these watch faces that you have and we select color and we go all the way to the very far right and tap plus we now receive the new spring 2025 color options so we have these colors to choose from, and in the near future, Apple will release the color-coordinated Apple Watch exclusive summer limited edition bands to go along with these new colors that they added. And then if you're a fan of Formula One racing, I'll be happy to inform you that in the sport app from Apple, if you go to the My Lead section and tap Edit, you can now add Formula One, as that is now a thing you can now track on your dynamic island or live activities. And then if you're a subscriber to News Plus, by launching the News Plus app and going to the following category, you'll see there's now a new food category you can select from. And here you can follow all kinds of amazing recipes, as well as a new category to your save recipes or recipe categories that you can peruse from. And then after you select one of these recipes, there's a simple way you could view it. And that is instead of like going down and view these type of recipes, the step-by-step -step ingredients right here, instructions, just select cook and it'll give you a much more bigger layout 
more simpler to read UI, very similar to like the Apple Music whenever you have lyrics enabled. Now in the Playground app where you create like these AI images, now you can actually go back and pre-select some of your pre-made ones or create a new one because if you tap edit and you tap plus, you now have a new sketch option where previously we only had these two themes to choose from, but now we unlock sketch, which is probably one of the best looking ones in my opinion. Now in terms of keyboard controls, by tapping the emoji icon, you now have a new gen emoji category right here, which allows you to create any type of like gen emoji right here on the spot. I guess Apple moved it so it's easier to be located in case those are unaware. They'll be able to locate that new gen emoji tab and start creating AI image emojis. So it's right here now. In addition to that, gen emojis are is now fully compatible to be used on social media apps like WhatsApp, Facebook, and other platforms. So you can now create a gen emoji on any third party app and just tap add and just send it like this because gen emojis now it's fully compatible to be used on rcs messaging as well so if you're texting an android user they can now visually see these gen emojis now smart lock proximity was something that was offered and featured a few times on apple's keynote when we first got the unveiled of all the new upcoming features on ios 18 that is now available on third-party developers so now smart locks can now utilize the ultra wideband so you no longer have to actually tap your device to unlock like your front door as an example your apple watch or your iphone are, are now capable to be detected as soon as you walk up and will automatically unlock your door and allow you to get in additionally apple home kit now is fully compatible to be used with your smart robot vacuum so now you can pair your smart robot vacuum to home kit and control your smart robot vacuum all off your smart home app now the next new change can be located in your wallet app actually by launching the wallet app in your main wallet app section by tapping the three dots right here you'll see a new you'll see this new section right here where it says pre-authorized payments by clicking on here you can actually manage all your subscriptions that you've been using with your apple pay and you could decide on revoking it right here in case it's one of those subscriptions that's really hard to cancel so this is a great way to like track your subscriptions that you're subscribed to which is great because this will send like other subscription services like rocket money to no longer be needed and then if you have an iphone 15 with Apple intelligence enabled, the action button can now be fully supported to be used as for the Apple intelligence features. A feature that was only available on the iPhone 16s is now finally available on the iPhone 15 Pros. So you can find this new setting in the setting app and scroll down to action button right in here. And you'll see a new Apple intelligence category so you can enable it from here. But if you don't want to utilize this as the action button for your Apple Intelligence, you like to keep it as something else, you go bring down Control Center, Long Hold, and you'll see there's a new Visual Intelligence category as well, where you can now add Apple Intelligence and Siri in the category right here. And now you have Apple Intelligence you could just add right here as a shortcut if you don't want to use the action button. Then another thing that was added on the iPhone 15, well, fixed, I guess, is if we lock our device, and long hold to enter the edit wallpaper section tap edit if you scroll down you'll see the wallpaper for the iphone 15 originally that it came with has been re-added on the iphone so believe it or not apple did remove that on ios 18 but now it's back you can now re-add it and then on my iphone 16 i did disable the visual intelligence on the side button right here because if i long hold it doesn't do anything now we have the ability to disable that so now if I press over here, now all I have is actu actual camera controls, not Apple Intelligence. So to find this new setting, go into the settings of your phone, you go into camera, select camera, select camera control, and scroll down until you find launch visual intelligence, press and hold. This is where you can finally go in and decide to enable that or disable it. Now the hidden photo library has been more secure than previously as before there was a quick walk around where you have your phone plugged into a computer you can access the hidden album that's been resolved on iOS 18.4 in addition to that Apple also gave us new features too that's located in the photo app by launching the photo app and if we go and select one of these random albums right here you have a new filter tool down here where you can sort from oldest and newest favorites videos screenshots so this has been slightly redesigned and then if we go all the way to the very bottom and actually select on an album if you select these three dots you have different viewpoints too so this is like the standard one 
but if you click on it, you now have key photo view as well with more filtering sort options over here for like custom order to name or sort by date modified. Additionally, you know, whenever you receive a text message from a group like photos back and forth, you may, you may see it also located in your photo library as well. If you don't like that, you now have the ability to disable that. You'll find this new setting in the setting app in the photo tab. So here it is on the main page, scroll down to apps and then just type in photos, select the photo app. And if you scroll down, you'll see a new show recent view and shared. By disabling this, if we go into our photo app and then we go into our utilities and if we go back to this page and we enable the share viewed and go back here, you'll see that the share recent images are going to be categorized right here as well as the ones you recently received. So it gives you more utility to manage stuff, but you don't like your library being mixed with your friend's conversation. You can just disable it and it simplifies it. Additionally, if you have the Apple Vision, just like the Apple Watch app, there's now a companion app you could download for it. It should be automatically downloaded if you have it paired to your Apple account, but if it's not, you can always just launch the App Store and go and search and type in Apple Vision. And you'll see the Apple Vision Pro app right here and you could decide to install. This allows you to control your headset from your phone as well. And then if you tap download, let it download, you now have the ability to pause and resume your downloads. A feature that was removed secretly but then gave it, given back to us again so now we actually have the ability to pause and resume our downloads same applies on updates as well and then in the photo app and then we also got new emojis as you can see them right here we have a new splash purple emoji a bags under eye emoji a fingerprint a leafless tree a beats a harp a shovel and a new flag also got added and then if you have a large screen for Apple CarPlay in your vehicle, you may find that there is a new row of apps that got added. This is something a lot of people have been reporting, but it's only compatible on large screen devices, about like eight inches or larger displays, as some users have been reporting. And then lastly, if you have a pair of AirPod Max with the USB-C, so long as it's the USB-C, not the lightning cable version, uh, AirPod Max are gonna receive an update alongside this, was re this release that will allow them to finally be compatible to be used for lossless audio. But there you guys have it. Those are all the new changes that got added on iOS 18.4. But as always, thank you so much for watching. But real quick, if you wish to watch more, maybe you'd like to see some cool things you could do on Apple CarPlay, highly recommend checking out that video over there because I show you a clever way to disable the auto play ability when you get in your car. This is a feature that's well overdue and I'm surprised Apple hasn't gave us that disability yet, but I find a clever walk around how you can have it to automatically pause as soon as you get in your car. So definitely check out that video over there to unlock the full potential of Apple CarPlay. Thank you again for watching.